Hi everyone, my name is Sadia. Today we are going to look at number recognition and what comes before and what comes after a number. In grade R, we know that children love to do activities and get involved in them. So just holding out a little whiteboard or number chart is not going to be enough. So we are going to make a matchbox activity board so that they can actually physically do the work. This is what the matchbox activity will look like when completed. For this activity, you will need a piece of brown cardboard, a pair of scissors, some masking tape, empty match boxes, so you would empty the matches out but keep the top and the inner. You would need some Pritt and a marking pen. Step one, you would need to use your masking tape to edge off your board and to make spaces so that each match box has an allocated space. You will do this by cutting strips of masking tape across your board in even spacing so that each matchbox has a place to go into. Once you've done that, your board will look like this with even spaces. The next thing you are going to do is cover your matchboxes. Take out the matchbox, apply some glue to the front of it. and use a piece of paper to cover the front. Then you are going to choose a number range. You would, might want to use numbers 1 to 10, or 1 to 12, or even 1 to 20, depending on your children's abilities. I'm going to write the number 3. And when you put your inner back into the box, make sure it goes on the top, like this. Then, you can, on the inside, you will push the box open and you would write the number 2. And on the other side, a number 4. So that it looks like this. Number 3, before 3, you have the number 2. And after 3, you have the number 4. You will then cover the rest of your match boxes. Apply some glue to the back of each matchbox and stick them in the center of each masking taped block that you have. I like to mix up the numbers so that the children have fun recognizing the numbers because they are not in the number order they are supposed to be in. Okay, once you are done sticking all your matchboxes, your box will look like this. How you would use this is you would ask a child to show you the number seven. Here it is. You would ask them what number comes before seven and they would just click it this way. Number six. Six comes before seven. What comes after seven? Click it that way. Eight. After seven you get eight. I hope you make these in your classroom and have lots of fun learning about all the numbers, what comes before them, and what comes after them. Bye.